Okay, so know this right now. You're breathing wrong. 95% of you are. And if the 5% probably have breathing classes. You and bow hunting. You think chest breathing is good? Or you think right. ah, diaphragmatic breathing? Every, mm. every sniper, go to with Tim Kennedy. I guarantee you he's freaking horizontal breathing. breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing. So that's number one. Then I go into the next attack, nose breathing. Because everybody says, I breathe through my nose. Yeah, okay. What if I smash your nose in? What about that? What if you have a cold you have to fight? You can't breathe through your mouth? Come on, don't be stupid. Yeah, but this thing, you know, it works through the mouth. You're only using it for about five minutes a day. And it will strengthen your breathing muscles, which, by the way, you have 11 pounds of breathing muscles. That's a lot. And with breathing muscles, I, I say the, the mover for inhaling is your diaphragm and your intercostals, which are the muscles in between your ribs. The external intercostals are for inhaling. Expand your chest. I'm going to go in a little bit how that works because that's why I bought this weird thing here with me. What do you got with? This weird, it's a, it's a steamer, a vegetable steamer, but I'll, I'll, I'll transform it into a diaphragm in a little bit. Why'd you bring a vegetable steamer? You will, I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> so, now let's take another part. How does your endurance increase? What do you think is the reason? You train really hard, I know, but what happens when you train really hard? Your recovery gets better. You, you know, your body gets accustomed to it and conditioned. That's that's it. You you train a muscle over and over again. It becomes more efficient. Right. And the word efficient already says it. Uses less oxygen. Therefore, your stamina increases. Boom. Okay. Good. Let's go to the next one. Metaborflex. That's a nice word for gassing. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're just gassing. This is what happens when you're gassing. Let's say you're running a hill, a very steep hill, 45 degree angle. It's a hard one, hard one, hard one. And suddenly it feels like you hit the wall. What happens at that moment is that your body starts redirecting oxygenated blood. And it takes it away from your legs because it sends it to your number one priority in the body, which are your breathing muscles. Because if your breathing muscles don't work, you die. If you can't expand your chest, you die. Okay, so endurance works. Muscle training over and over again gets more endurance. Okay, but my freaking uh, intercostals and my diaphragm, they steal the blood. Blood stealing is literally a medical term away from my limbs as soon as I'm getting tired. Okay, what if I update those 11 pounds of breathing muscles? Mm. What if I give them more endurance over and over again so they become more efficient? Now you delay your gassing that's normally, let's say, happens here happens there that's why every this one for you since you are an athlete already i'll put this uh one on number i put your number four so what you're doing is you put it in your mouth that's what he said and then you're gonna and you exhale so officially just try it now for sitting straight okay and keep your shoulders low and exhale completely and then inhale by pressing your belly forward Explosive. And then explosive inhale. I see your chest coming a little. Keep it down. There we go. That's core. Now we're doing it. This is just sitting straight. But if you do this with an exercise, there's two exercises. I feel it. Do I it. feel it. I you, feel I feel like a workout of these muscles. That's right. I'm, I'm feeling these muscles in a different way than I feel doing anything else. You know you want to freak out even more? Mm. I want you to just lean over a little bit. Oh, you okay. can do this actually. Here. So, okay. yeah, just lean. Like this? Yeah, but lean over. Okay. And now put it in your mouth. And then when you want to inhale, focus on your back muscle, the lower part of your back muscle to expand. Do that. Because we have breathing muscles 360 degrees circumferential. Those muscles I never worked out. Once I started adding this exercise to it, my stamina got insane. You go also. I feel the muscles on my back. Oh, yeah. I feel it. You don't want to That's do 30 repetitions like this because tomorrow felt like you did a very hard back workout that you're going to walk in. around. Listen, boss, I'm going to use this every day. I'm going to check in with you in a month. I'm going to use this. I will 100% do this. Because you are the guy who actually does it. Like, okay, th one, one thing that I want to say for the people, right? If you use it for endurance and you do it before endurance workout, think about this. You're tiring your breathing muscles. I got an idea. How about I do that 
in the cold plunge. I'm gonna kill two birds oh, with one stone. Oh, Jesse, that's what I always do too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll do so. I'll change my cold plunge from three minutes to four minutes, and yep. I'll just do that the entire time I'm in the cold plunge. All right, boom. because that tightens you up. That tightens up your. your <sighs> oh, you're gonna. You watch what's yes. gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna Dude, it I will change it. you. I'll guarantee. You.